I was not able to defeat you. After all, I'm glad. Polka? Stay back. Allegretto, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about this before. I couldn't tell you. I didn't think you'd take me here if I'd explain why I wanted to come. You see? I remembered. I now know the path that I have to take. The sea. You will jump into the sea. finally see what your kindness was always hiding from me. Mom, you were the one who blurred all my memories, weren't you? No. The reason I couldn't remember was because I didn't want to worry you, Mom. I guess I was subconsciously hiding them away inside myself, behind the dark clouds that hung over my own feelings. It is your fate to go into the sea. Yes, my fate is to go into the sea. We lived our lives looking away from what was too difficult to face. We ignored everything hurtful and only saw what we chose to see. The world we created and nurtured in our hearts became increasingly real over time. Eventually it became so real that it clouded our eyes and hid the small truths that were all around us. Just like the shining of the stars is blotted out by the glare of the city lights. And to think it was part of my own memories. Mom, you watched over me all this time, making sure I didn't go down the wrong path. But after I left home, after I left you, I realized something. I realized that all this time you were guiding me down the wrong path. Because of your love for me as your daughter. I'm grateful, Mom. But still, you have to realize one day that water doesn't necessarily always flow downhill. It can sometimes become a high tide and surge up into the past, pushing a small stone upstream. This is the right path for me. And at the end of it, there lies a fate I cannot escape. has come for everything to be settled. It's my destiny, maybe even my purpose. 
No, it's nothing as passive as that. It's something I have to decide for myself, all on my own, right now! Polka, wait! It's okay. There's a place out there where I'm needed. A place that I have to illuminate, with the shining light of the Astra that lies sleeping within my heart. Don't do it! to me. My life is nothing compared to his. Doing this is easy if it's for him. done for her. Does this mean that dying was the only thing Polka could do? There wasn't any way we could save her? Why did Polka have to suffer? What did she ever do to deserve that? What is wrong with this world? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You! You come barging into our world without asking, and now you leave just because you feel like it! This is your dream, right? If it's a dream, then why don't you do something? Please. You have to do something! A dream... Is this really... A dream? Thank you, everyone. I know it didn't last very long, but really, this was the best time I've ever had in my life. If I blow him a kiss, I wonder, will it reach him up there? I hope so. I really do. Can human beings who create waves of ugly desire ever become like the seawater that's stirred by the beauty of the moon? No one wants to touch someone like me. Someone who can use magic. After all, they might get sick too. Well, of course the bread you're eating is much more important than the bread of a stranger. Huh? Uh, wait. How is it any different? All around us, the world is fading at an incredibly rapid rate. And yet, you say you aren't able to see it. Well, perhaps there's a reason for that. Perhaps you can't see it because you are fading away even faster than the world. If you're conscious of the fact that you're having a dream, and you can actually say that this is just a dream, then can you really be sure that it's a dream at all? 
Can a picture taken through a bent piece of glass called a lens really accurately reflect what happens at a single moment in time? It seems to me that your eyes would have to be pretty bent themselves for that to be possible. Something that people think is useful but can actually be harmful in the long run? Hmm. Well, the only thing I can think of right now is mineral powder. But I'm sure there are lots of other things out there. Maybe if you think about it for a while, you can come up with some things that I don't know about. I think that everyone knows deep down that some things that might seem useful to us right now could actually be hiding a danger to the future. And yet there are many people out there who simply refuse to accept that. Are people really so foolish that they aren't willing to sacrifice those little conveniences for the sake of the future? If people are too deeply involved in a problem, is it really not possible for them to realize what's wrong until it's too late to do anything about it? The standards for justice in this world are decided amidst the driving ambitions and turbulent emotions of a small handful of people who just happen to possess the greatest influence. Well, you certainly have been born into a difficult era. A lifetime to build, a moment to destroy. Will human beings ever become masters of creation, or are we only destined for destruction? I was acting out a part up until the moment I died. Do you plan to spend your whole life pretending to be someone you're not? Are you sure you know the difference between things that can be forgotten right away, like letters written in the sand, and really important things that must never be forgotten, like words carved into stone? It's an important distinction to make. Without realizing it, people tend to act in ways that suit their own best interests. And before they know it, they've turned all their efforts to seeing just how powerful or successful they can become. It can't always have been like that. Things must have been different in the beginning. Try to remember the feelings you had when you first started out. Can't we make better use of the energy we spend maintaining our feelings of mistrust? There must be a way. If we could all do that somehow, I think it would make it much easier to live a life filled with light. When I realized that I had no hope of beating Claves, I ran away. What about you? Are you like me? Do you run away from situations where you know you can't win too? The view of Retardando is so beautiful at night. But which part of that view is the most beautiful thing about it? The flickering of the city lights below? Or the twinkling of the stars in the night sky above? As the leader of Baroque, I am responsible for making the people of my country suffer under the fear of impending war. The citizens of Baroque are innocent people whose only crime is living in the kingdom I rule. And there are others in this world who suffer similar misfortune. Remember to be very grateful if you are lucky enough to happen to live in a country at peace. I believe that the future holds infinite hope for all of us. So no matter what the odds, however slim the chance, I always try to hold on to that hope. I would never want to give up on something without at least trying. What about you? What would you have done in my place? Would you still draw a fortune if you already knew what it was going to say? 
suppose you could not be sure whether or not there was any ground behind you. Knowing that, would you still have the courage to take a step backward? At certain times in life, does it not take much more courage to take a step back than to take a step forward? Would you be courageous enough to do it? If you live with your eyes closed to whatever is difficult to face, does that mean those things don't exist? People with brightly glowing astras always have to suffer in the end. Is the place where you are a miserable world like that? Don't you want to change it? You can't just sit back and accept a destiny of death. You have to fight back, resist. You have to try as hard as you can. After all, that's what life's all about, isn't it? You can give up when it's really, truly, absolutely the very end. Until then, you gotta try and do whatever you can. I guarantee that you still have time. That's right, you still have time. Absolutely. Now is when it really begins. Just take a moment to study yourself. I know what it feels like to have a future filled with doubt. To feel overwhelmed. To think it's all over. To want to give up on everything. But there's no use just thinking about it. You can't hesitate. You need to act upon it. Since in the end, all you can do is try as hard as you can. You don't have to rush. There's still time. You have infinite potential after all. I promise you, even now, you can still do it. All you have to do is the very best you can. I guarantee you still have time. Death is a reality that is far too real. I've walked this dreamlike journey within a dream, so that once and for all, I could accept that. And now, at this moment, all things shall reach their finale! Mr. Chopin's time of death, two o'clock in the morning.
waves in the sea? Well, darling, there are waves because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just can't sit still. Is that true? Really? Really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! What about the puddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean, before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves too? I won't let you die, Polka. After all, you've only been alive for 14 years. A 14-year-old girl must live her life. The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about people as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts, just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, and power. When the sun is out, they hide in their buds and then open their blossoms only when it is truly important. And stronger. Drawing in even the faintest amount of light, the they decisively are, embody it. And in doing so, reflect something that people can never see. The of grows, they the wait for the moment when the world is bigger. trapped in darkness, and then blossom and with glowing light. Terrible conflicts. On the grassy plain, they paint a picture of the star-filled night this sky that was blotted out by the city lights. Isn't it pitch black around you? Isn't the world covered in darkness? Now, come. It's two o'clock in the morning. The time for you to blossom has come. Because when you do, those big waves will calm down. Do you remember? You said it was up to me whether I wanted to call them Heaven's Mirror or Death Lights. I'm still allowed to choose, am I not? I shall make my definitive choice, right now. Oh, it's insulting to you. That flower that so resembles you. That flower that only challenges the darkness. I choose to call it Heaven's Mirror. I see. Then you must have met the person who is the perfect match for your Astra. Well, he's the person that you choose to believe in, so I'm sure he must be wonderful. I did so want to see you on your wedding day. But now, I suppose the only thing I can do for you is to tell you this. Come back someday and do your best. Okay, Mommy. I'll see you later then.
Have I been able to become more like the seawater that is stirred by the beauty of the moon? Thank you, Polka dear. Please be happy. It's Polka! She's... she's glowing! Uh, Polka! 